Okay, let me start with the air player. Float Neptune is his name. And uh, he started a land factory. started a land factory with uh, four maxes. He's going for the hydro. After that, I guess his teammate, uh, Mr. Lobby Sim Love, four maxes, land factory, and he sent his NG towards the hydro already. Slow pause there, but we continue nonetheless. Okay, the other guy, the hydrate player for Team 1, is called Explosive. He is, uh, he's already busy with uh, building the Hydro. Two land factories queued there and uh, made a sneaky mo, which he will raid his enemy with, I guess. Next one is Luca. Oh god, they all have the same uh, build, so it seems. So it must be a good build, huh? It's the core max build, I think. Um, and the last guy for Team 1 is uh, Chris Kela. And he has a second factory, the land factory, the uh, air factory. Um, as you can see, they're all sending their engines to reclaim stones and maxes while underway. So the air player for team two, his name is N Dead New. N Dead. Okay, let's call him N Dead. Um, he's uh, already built in Maxis, one land factory, one team on power. Um, there, already building an air factory and four more, so he's going for T1 now, I guess. The next player for Team 2, no more work. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I skewed a, a lot of power. Hydro is already going to the front with his commander. The next team pl player of uh, Team 2 is uh, Sayli. Sayli, I think Sayli. Um, she skewed up three land factories, so land all day. I sent already some Thanks to the back to stop this raid, but he's already too late. I think it was... Nah, he hadn't uh, taken these maxes yet, so it, it isn't destroyed by the raid. Okay, the next player is Arisen, 1500. It's the highest rated player of Team 2. Four land factories queued, already built. One here is maybe an air factory which he's going to put here um, and um, let's send some engines to the front to uh, to reclaim okay and then we have stoned elf I think he uh, has featured sometimes in the, the games that Kyle casted so it's a known player he's going T2 five land factories and, and a whole row of T1 power And in the center there's a little, a small battle going on. Nobody has yet reclaimed this wreck. I don't know why. It's quite costly, quite much. It's a 1k plus mass. So I don't know why, but uh, that's interesting. None the least. Okay, Lobby Sim Lover is already pushing a bit. He just reclaimed some stones here. He's now pushing to the middle further, as is his mirror stone elf, so his mill probably will go reclaim, try to reclaim this. Yep, manual reclaim. Okay. I'm surprised that there aren't more commanders front here reclaiming. Guess they don't care. And now Grey is uh, risen is taking this wreck. That should give him uh, some nice mass for, uh, for building an army or Upgrading Nexus. And as you can see, a, um, there's quite a front with uh, quite some tanks forming here. Um, it's a big push by Explosive and Lobby Sim Lover. And the other team should watch. I watched that. Uh, at least he doesn't lose his land factories. That would be costly. And look at here, look at this. There's also a uh, quite a big battle going on. 
and two commanders with uh, two armies, two combined armies of the other team, but Manoma Work says, um, nah, I won't join you, I will go to the middle where Stone Elf is being attacked by Jester's T1 light uh, gunships. But his teammates don't have T1A yet. A oh, wave 2 T1, uh, T1 air from uh, and that noob. Is it enough to destroy these airplanes or the Jesters? And slowly but surely, the health of Stone Elf is being ticked away. And now more T1, uh, now more Entees uh, turn up from uh, Explosive and Chriskilla. And they have killed the Entees from uh, Ended. So now the Jesters are sent towards Sile, who is being quite on his own here against two commanders. Oh my goodness, a third, a fourth one. They're all going this way. I think that is the advantage of this card, guys. I bet this is uh, some good, uh, some good discussion going on, guys. Let's go to the left. Let's kill him. Let's kill yellow. You know, something like that. And uh, no more work. Oh, he says, uh, "I will take plasma cannon." But uh, I won't join yellow. And now yellow uh, is quite dangerous. Uh, in a dangerous spot here. It's green and red are pushing quite hard. As are the other commanders. Maybe Grey and uh, Stone Elf should push a bit. There are no commanders here now. They could do some damage a bit. Stone Elf is uh, reclaiming here. Grey too. Oh my goodness, Sally has 1500 health left. And Explosive is joining him from the other side, he's now he's not gonna make this. I think we have our first injection, and some mercies are joining uh, the fray from and that noob. He's trying to oh my goodness, 900 health left. So Sily bows out first. Now they have Chris Killa, who is the other team, who is 1k, and there's one mercy. Would he make it? And he doesn't. I think that would have been enough, or maybe just enough. Well, certainly he um, did make it. Now the mercies, they don't work anymore. That's quite a pity for uh, Team 2. Now these uh, commanders are walking a bit back. Walking a bit back. I mean, and no more work. And Stone Elf for trying to destroy this army with their comps and wondering what upgrades they have. And no more work has a gun. Stone Elf. Stone Elf doesn't have upgrade yet. So what has he been doing? Well, building an army, that's for sure. He has three T2 Maxes. No more work. He uh, also has three. But he has so much mass. He can spend it, that's a pity. I don't think he has the build power, so he's built a, uh, quite a row of land factories, but... Oh. It will overflow in the coffers of uh, his teammates, probably, but... So team 1 is still pushing really hard. I wonder if Team 2 will be able to uh, retake their teammates' base. Grey has sent some NGs. The reason I sent some NGs to, uh, to rebuild the factories here is quite smart, because that saves him, uh, like, percent build time and uh, build cost and that has uh, made a lot of T1 entities now it's more than the other team has so but here's a T1 AA and he's just flying over it he's not scared of it nope I'm just gonna fly over it because it's nice you know 
And there go some mercies and a guy from Team One bows out. It's Luca. It's Luca who bows out. That's um, that's some relief for Team Two. So that means and that noob did some good work there. He was quite lucky. He flew right between the uh, explosives and T's. So uh, yeah, he did well. Okay, now a lot of thanks from um, Reason are streaming towards the enemy commanders, but they are literally literally streaming. So um, enemy commander explosive is just killing them one by one. Better to group them, guys. Ah, from the other side, some tanks are also closing in. It's quite dangerous with this, um, this uh, Siren Commander who doesn't have, have as much health as the other commanders have. In the meantime, Lovey Sim Love has built quite a big T1 army, but so did uh, Stone Elven Arisen. I wonder how much Max T2 Max um, this guy has. Yes, five. And in the meantime, let's see. Stone Elf has Sing. Let's see what's happening here. Two comes in a, a retreat. One is pursuing. Is that gunships? What is that? No, it's just T1 Antis. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Cloud Neptune is sending some T1 bombers in. Well, they have air, so why not? He's here trying to hit the calm. There's no more work. And I'm not sure what he wants to get done by that. I mean, surely no more work won't die from this. He would do better, I think, by bombing these tanks or uh, some NGs to kill some APM. And what have we here? Some T2 flatjacks are. Uh, Stand up for uh, Stone Elf. They're pummeling the enemy army with uh, missiles. A T1 radar goes down. Still, not much has been replayed, so it seems. The most games I watch on Wonder or play on Wonder, it's where commanders, it's the first thing that they do. They walk to the front and they get this mass. So that is nice and clean, build some factories for uh, T1 land or uh, upgrade their maxes. Quite some mess lying around. Here also, look at this, it's quite a, quite a nice mess field. So I think Chris Killa should um, take these NGs and start reclaiming. But really up his maxes by uh, that. With that. So let's see how the eco is going. Well, for um, Team 1, a Throat Neptune is ahead of Ended. Throat Neptune is making some T2 gunships. I think he's going to use it against this massive attack that's occurring here. Look at this. Arisen has made a shield come, I think. With gun? With gun, certainly. Yes, shield come with double gun oh my goodness this is um this is a very strong calm and now stone elf is joining the fray the reason says i want more give me more tanks please still his shield is so so little is happening with it it's so strong these mantis are tickling away some uh, hp but doesn't do much. So Lobby Simlove has made some Iotas. 
but I think that Arisen has access to Overcharge, yes he does, and uh, it's no problem for him. He shoots them away. Tactical Missile Defense, which he immediately attacks upon seeing it. Maybe Sim Love's doing a good job with uh, reclaiming the mass view, but since Stone Elf's army is turning up, he won't get more there. And Abnub is uh, he's saying his ASFs are coming soon. And indeed, he's on D3 uh, uh, Air Factory now, and he has made one ASF already. And it will be needed because um, a float Neptune is attacking the Karma Horizon with T2 Spectres with those long beams. I still am not used to it. It's um, the latest patch, it's, uh, they changed it. But now the shield is uh, well, disappearing quite fast. So he gets a Elysium from uh, well, himself. Oh, it's just right, uh, right ahead and says, oh, Nope, I'm going to take some tanks and some AA because I like them better than my commander. And uh, Arisen has uh, his force to retreat, but he is F from and that new turn up. Let's see how they do against uh, six Swift Winds. Oh, actually, very good. The, uh, yep, the ASF has cleared a field for the gunships. Of with the gunships and the Muslim T1A help with it, with that. Still, look at the damage uh, that Arisen has done. Quite some power, and the uh, T2 mass extractor skill too. So that uh, must hurt, especially since Lobby Sim Love was making a, a T2 region. Small raid, which uh, just has stopped there. And, uh, and then Noob says, ah, oh, I will park my Aes up there. Just because I like it. And now, an attack is coming from Chris Gilla. I think he also has a uh, gun comb with a shield. And let's see what upgrade he has. He has shield indeed and double gun. So the same as Arisen. Is, he has overcharged quite some T1 army. But no T2 yet, I think. Why am I saying that? A T2 mobile shield generator is turning up. But does he have T2 tanks? I think not. He does have a T2 flag, so that's good for him. And they're still he's still making uh, more of the light seat. Hey, so um, I think the uh, flapjacks are making some progress, trying to fill Cerberus turrets from uh, explosive. And look at this, guys! A strat, a strat is turning up from and that noob who just killed with those two ASF six um, enemy. T2 airplanes, and now he's uh, going for the stress run. He has uh, his air now. Now, that's a T2 mass extractor gone there, and I'm sure more will follow. And now, a float Neptune does have a T3 air factory, but he's still producing T3 engineers. He should make fast T3 uh, AA now. Because this T1 AA and the flag won't, won't just won't cut it. Okay, well, a little bit if he um, doesn't fly over it too much. I think he could uh, fly around it. Prison tries again. He has tasted blood since his uh, last attack. And she had to return because uh, retreat because of the gunship, but now. Since and that new and that new oh, man the name I'm going to call him just dead. I think that's better dead. I think dead, since he has air, and a reason just now has the balls to uh, just continue his efforts. 
And so he does. Some uh, Yota turn up with uh, some rocket slots from explosive, but he's just pushing ahead. And now I think two. St was that a stretch? Yep, that's a T. Yeah, that's a stretch. Okay, well, so one is down. I think it actually has been shot down with a T1, uh, T1 air. And there goes the second one. That's a very costly dead. Still, he uh, he has killed a T2 Master Factory Land Factory, and oh, this is actually bad. Yeah, he killed the T3 T3 F Factory from uh, from a float Neptune. So it seems that Team Two will keep their uh, air supremacy for the for the coming time. And now Explosive just uh, has to help his uh, teammate Love is in Love. Uh, has to put mass in there because his teammate now is being bumped. No, he's being bumped himself. Actually, so uh, that's why he is helping him out. And the combined enemy army from uh, no more work, Stone Elf, and Arisen should push Lobby some number back. He still has his power, but not sure how long. That will last, although he's killing many T2 or T1 tanks. Now Explosive has made some uh, T3 bouncers, some T3 AA, to kill the thre threat from the strats. But, uh, and that new is just uh, building the one after the other. So let's see how they are doing eco-wise. And the new is on 1, 24. He's assisting his factory, this factory really hard, so I'm curious, is this correct or I'm not sure? Let's see how many T3 um, he has. He only has one T3 mass structure, but he does have air. So, much of the times, guys, um, see this happening. One guy just has uh, only T2 mass structures, but he does have air with his uh, ASF because he prioritized them. And then let's see how Fruit Neptune is doing. Okay, I thought maybe he would have more T3 mass extractors. He does have. Actually, he has. He has two. But he also took his uh, teammate base, so that's why he is uh, on, uh, on uh, 83. I'm wondering what he's going to do with uh, all that mass. With this army of uh, skillized holding for now. Maybe they could just send some uh, harps or something through here to kill this up. Uh, would be nice for them. Not for the other team, of course. Yeah. And uh, speaking uh, of uh, a raid with uh, T3 land, here we have one. Stone Elf has made some uh, titans and he has uh, brought them around the back to kill up some Nexus. Well, this uh, T2 mass structure will undoubtedly go. And again, a reason has to, uh, has to retreat in front of heavy tanks and uh, rhinos and two brakes. Okay, that is actually that is dangerous. But he sends his T1 army in, and the brick gets caught by the T2 spam, and the reason is. 5 star come so he regenerates very fast. The break does good work though. He um, got like ha half the ha health of him in combination with explosives come. And now Lobby Sim Lover took his uh, commander to the front too to push him back. And the reason sacrificed his T1 army to escape with his life. And now also 
mongoose and the uh, titans are turning up at the front to combat the two gun comms from team one. The titans from uh, Stone Elf in the back though, they, uh, they have no orders. They're just sitting there, chilling. I am a titan, and I'm just here chilling. That's costly. A small raid from uh, No More Work is doing some good work here. Killed a uh, T2 Max, I think. Yep. This one is almost dead. <laughs> and this uh, T2 T1 engineer has just reclaimed some of the last the raid. Some scouting is being done. That noob is uh, greening a scum currently. I hear a ping over there. Ah, it's a float Neptune who uh, said I will personally deal with uh, these titans and uh, kill them and then sucked up their wrecks. Or actually, he didn't. He only sucked up one wreck. Now, mobile artillery T3, mobile artillery is turning up on the front from Stone Elf. Trying to shoo Lobby Sim Lover away. And maybe also some uh, the server stars from uh, Explosive. So, although T2 has been constantly pushing with gun comms and uh, other land units. They haven't succeeded, succeeded yet. This is quite dangerous, those big Percivals. They push, combined with this army, and uh, some lover gets trapped. It could be dead. And that's what they try. Some ravages going up, I think. Oh no, it's a, um, it's a flare, actually. But ravages also wanted to, to make sure that a uh, chick lover, or chick lover, I mean, Chris Killer, <laughs> how did I, uh, how did I um, come up with that? Yeah, to uh, shoo uh, Chris Killer away, um, one ravager, one side of this. Monster could uh, make commanders flee. Stone Elf and Arisen are still pushing, trying to kill his Yota. His small raid. Oh. Quite strong tanks, actually, T2 tanks. Push through. They managed to kill a T3 uh, mobile artillery from uh, explosive. Thought uh, Stone Elf can make T3, uh, T3 mobile artillery. I can. And so he did, but now it's gone. Wait, he still has one left. So Neptune still hasn't uh, reclaimed the T3 HQ that had been bombed. But he, then again, he has had his hands full with uh, making more and enough A's have to, uh, to make sure that new couldn't try anything with strats or gun comms or ships, I mean. And look at this. And that noob is uh, start, started in nuke. In the meantime, he is putting much into his eco, so it seems. Skewed up a lot of T2 mass fabs around his uh, around his mass storages.
Oh, really? The airplane, wait. The, uh, the air on ASF is called a Corona. Oh, that's funny. Would it be named after... No, can't be, because this game is from uh, 2009, so maybe it's named after the, uh, the beer, Corona. It's funny to call a, uh, an airplane Corona. With uh, drunk, drunk pirate pilots and all. Yeah, it's a good idea. Lobby Sim Lover is still harder work to uh, kill the Percivals from Stone Elf. Well, look at the mess that they have given them. Now, that's why they are, I think, I think uh, that's why they want to push so hard, I think. Keep reclaiming it. And that's what Arisen is doing with his. Uh, Angie's here, he's reclaiming... Oh my goodness, and there he goes. So Lobby Sim Lover has been ejected. Nice, that noob said, and says, and Lobby Sim Lover says, I'm so sorry, but why actually? Was this a control K, or is this because of the T3 artillery? I'm not sure. So if you've seen it, uh, please tell me in the comments. Now, only three remain. On T1. So, Explosive does have a lot of mass, but uh, he already was very busy with killing this army off with uh, his teammate together, so he will have his hands full, I think. So, let's see what uh, Chris Killer has been doing. He's made a few harbingers, a few harps which are patrolling here. And then 64, 46. Eco. So then T2 mass extractors, some T3 in the back. So let's see what his mirror is on. Actually, also uh, almost 150. And look at this. Uh, no more work is, well, being at work quite hard, so it seems. Combination with the uh, Tech 1 engineers from Arisen, and together they are making a fatty. So they could push with this uh, escort, I think. And I'm curious what that is going to do to. Uh, Chris Killa, who's just upgrading his count to a uh, shield heavy. Well, he's gonna need it uh, when he gets a fat boy. Fat boy uh, bumps on his face. But I'm not so sure what he's gonna do against it uh, with his eco. Doesn't have much. He isn't, he's spending his math though. Yeah, on the side of the fair boy, he uh, decided to make some T3 shields. Now a ping is going on. So the T3 mobile artillery, artillery are doing some work done, are getting some work done. They're pummeling Salmi with Artie. But still, Explosive hasn't managed to uh, take over his uh, teammate's base. And he sent some engines there now. Being a megalith. That's uh, going to take a while. Now, uh, the fatty from, fatty from uh, No More Work is done. And. He's laying some fire at the feet of the harps. Dead noob has been silent, really silent, and I know, I think I know why, because um, he's assisting his nuke with uh, all his NGs. Still, he made a lot of mass fabricators with uh, three quantum reactors. Curious. Uh, 
and he's overflowing very hard. I think he may be using a mug which turns off mass fabricators if uh, there's not enough power. He just can't stand the mess now. He's made so much, so much mass fabs. Look at this. 62. He's uh, ahead on Eco. You can see Mirror. Then again, his Mirror has a uh, second base. These are. Multi two still, and a nice raid is going on here. From uh, I'm sorry, a nice raid is going on here. Stone Owl is killing a shield and going for the power. The power now, I think. At least that would be a good decision. Oh wait, he is uh, has to kill the bricks first. And a GC turns up now, and he uh, just uh, mows the grass like it's uh, well, like it's grass. Your grass not so strong, and uh, he's turning his GC toward the harps, which uh, had a difficult time for the last few uh, minutes. Its army is slowly but surely making its way towards uh, Chris Killa. Let's see what this GC is going to do to the fatty if he. Same with the Ganyan range, and really the Fetty should turn right now, or it will be too late. But I think no more work. Yep, yeah, he has spotted it now. Fetty, run! GC is uh, killing some T1 spam. Killing the shield. Harps are turning up from Chris Killa trying to to uh, damage the GC, but well, this thing is so strong, and some allies are sent towards Fatty to give it another few minutes or seconds, I guess. GC's power beam is going straight through it, and here Fatty is smoking already, and boom, it's gone. Now the GC has to turn back because uh, there's some T2PD and Ravagers. A lot of Ravagers. One, two, three. That's enough to uh, to make people scared. And this GC also. Well, you gotta give it to uh, Team 1. Explosive has been doing a good job to um, stop these guys, but what have you here? A nuke, and I didn't hear the sound. But uh, that nuke thought there's no SMD, probably, and I will nuke their base. Oh, that's a good uh, strategy. There goes explosive base. He has been working so hard to keep those commanders from strolling into. T1's territory, but he will have to retreat in, in the face of this, look at this, now of course he can uh, hold this with his uh, Cybern commander, although this commander is a uh, 5 star vet. I'm wondering, no one built an SMD, I don't see one here, and I don't see an SMD here, so this is quite a mistake. Well, they Team One has been on the retreat for uh, the last well quarter quarter or so, the last 15 minutes. So they didn't have air; they've had their hands full. Float Neptune had to make a Galactic Colossus, which he gives to. Chris Killer now. And Stone Elf's army is turning to the left. Walking into a GC from uh, Explosive. Well, actually, it's a GC from 
Lord Neptune, but it's been given by him. And the spiritual don't stand a chance. Although they kill a lot of HP, they manage to get in below 50%. Still two, three Percival's left. And now T1 tanks turn up, heavy tanks. And they tickle away health and the GC. There's no doubt it's short on energy, so it seems. And this is why he is heavily assisting a fat boy. Pink, yes, he's a power lock, very bad. He turned off all shields. And a reason is making a czar. And if that finishes with the uh, latest patch, the czar has been given a shield. They're quite strong now. I'm wondering what that's going to do to uh, T1 space. Let's see what team one has to to hit back at their aggressors float neptune has made a smd now and is loading it's uh, 30 percent heavily assisted not much going on at uh Kuskilla. Mr. Skiller's base, who has been on the, who has had a hard time the last 20 minutes, comes and pushing here. A Fetty, now Fetty on 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 the way from no more work and uh, a reason probably no, not from a reason. He's building his own Fetty. I mean, sorry. Um, and and that noob has loaded his second nuke almost that should scare the hell out of team uh, team one who still only have loaded their smd for 50 percent skilla is just sitting there chilling saying i can't do much against fetties that's quite true actually while well, building T2 R2 maybe. Still no Skilla. I don't think he has uh, enough build power. Just doesn't seem to be able to spend his mass. I think he should have had more T3 engineers. He's making currently making serenities. I guess to try to dismantle this base. But uh, the fatty, which is almost done, will make short work of this, I guess. Even made an absorber. Uh, actually, I love these things. They're paper thin, but once you have one in the mix and able to defend well, shields fall like card houses for them. And the fatty from Stone Elf is done now. As is the star from Arisen. Two GCs are joining together in the mid. One is strolling here, trying to cut the gap. Although Stone Dove is not pushing much with uh, his T1 and T3, and especially actually. A reason is just parking in the uh, army here. Oh my goodness, that was a nuke, right? Couldn't be happy. Yep, that was a nuke. Sorry, guys, I missed that one. But uh, you can see what happens if you uh, don't have a, a nuke sound on. Actually, I don't know how to fix it, so if you do know, tell me please in the comments. But this is uh, what's left of the nuke. I like the new uh, Nomads. Uh, nuke who leaves a really dense mass hump in the middle now the czar from uh, the reason is finished as is the fatty and together they are 
pushing towards the GC from explosive which is uh, well exploding now as you can see then it goes back to being dead risen from the dust back to the dust as is this one who also is damaged very badly but he does seem to escape death for a little while there as the Tsar just strolls ahead towards a float Neptune's base, he doesn't think a minute about it going towards these two combs, Chriskilla and float Neptune Sh could they escape? well, shield holds, shield holds for now but not long I guess, two T3 shields after each other T1, T2 and T3 A's are trying to destroy the Zar and it does and it crashes in the base Chris Killa escapes with 2k on his head Flo Neptune doesn't but the SMD is gone guys and I think it was loaded and that's very bad news for Team 1 it's the apocalypse from Dead New is almost halfway now so also making some SACUs as if he didn't have enough eco already eco which is still turned off, look at this I'm right, right? yeah, it's paused is this in a... this must be intentionally uh, not sure now, he seems to have uh, enough to at least get some going since I think he couldn't spend the mass he thought well let me make a uh, Galactic Colossus and then assist my nuke again would be nice for him if he had a uh, had something like Hive or something just to ask an Angie, Angie from a teammate and uh, it would be going so much faster this nuke well uh, that nuke has been doing a good job he spotted that the enemy didn't have any SMDs and same thing then he has been producing nukes ever more Chris Killer's base is in ruins now probably because of this fanboy the T1, T2, T3 army from Arisen, which was chilling over here, is now joined the fat boy. I think uh, as an escort to protect against these hard arps. A quite bad damage. GC is uh, still strolling around the new base. Explosive has been given by a float Neptune. Remember, a float Neptune had two bases and since explosive base, well, exploded, okay, I was sorry, I won't make the joke again, but <laughs> since uh, his bla uh, base uh, disappeared in uh, a nuke, a float gave him this base. So that's nice teamwork, guys. Probably, probably Mazer says end of nuke and dead. And you might be right. It's a explosive who is doesn't have teleport yet, but should be able to see it in the uh, chat. Yep, starting laser. Teleport again, so it says uh, Riskilla decided to. If explosive the chance to teleport. So how are we doing on uh, on experimentals? Well, they surely slowly are closing into white space and no nuke sound again. Sorry guys, but I spotted it this time. Look at it go right to white ba white space. And since 
The SMD isn't loaded. Well, that will surely hit them and also maybe be the end for them as other experimentals are joining the battle. And there goes his base. Explosive is dead. And his mate, Chris Killa, is dead too. Now only a float Neptune remains to escape with his life. But he's being chased by a Galactic Colossus, by a Fetty, by Percival's, by... Ooh! By Shields! Oh, that's scary. Um, no, I'm kidding. He's a... Um, well, he's a big shield gun, but... Stone Elf even lifts some SACU in, and there he goes, a Float Neptune. This game is over, it's GG. Team 1, who started so strong by pushing with four commanders all the way down here and killing Sylee. But these guys wouldn't give in. They made a strong stand here and then started pushing into the other base, into the base of Simlover, who just couldn't hold on. Explosive helped him. But uh, to no avail. And then the nuke that ended Noob sent into explosive base. Well, that spelled the end. Definitely. Uh, that's uh, that's something he uh, saw very well. No SMDs in the enemy team. So, guys, it's easy to say, but uh, yeah, you need SMDs. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I certainly did. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please like this video and subscribe please um, again um, I would be thankful and uh, you will also be supporting the FAF community by doing so so uh, more content coming from me the next week um, that's up, thumbs up and uh, well, have a nice day, see you later